This is your primetime forecast for East Alabama and West Georgia from Dr. Don's Weather. Dr. Don's Weather is made possible by the Randolph County Commission, First Light Coffee, Roger Bell Auto Brokers, Southern Auction Solutions, Genesis Swig Clinic, Jimmy Stevens Construction, Anchor Roofing, The Town of Wadley, Auction 431 South, The Salem Auction House, and Bama Diesel Repair. From the Alpha Weather Center, powered by Boondocks Barbecue and Creamery, Southern Union State Community College, and the venue at Five Points Farms. Here's Dr. Don. And good morning, East Alabama and West Georgia. Welcome to your Thursday. We are drawing closer to that weekend, and it is time now for your primetime forecast for Thursday, June 27th, 2024. And I got some good news for you if you're in need of rain. We'll tell you all about it coming up in this morning's edition of your primetime forecast. Thank you, Ron Young at Southern Auction Solutions for being a partner here on Dr. Don's Weather. Check them out online, southernauctionsolutions.com. They do have land auctions that are ongoing right now, and you can see uh, what they have to offer on their website. Again, it's southernauctionsolutions.com. You can also give them a call at 334-885-1787. Be sure and tell them Dr. Don sent you and get in touch with Jamie Dukas so you can get your ducks in a row with Dukas. Let Jamie show you what he can do for your insurance needs and he will be able to, in a lot of cases, increase your coverage and lower your cost. You can contact Jamie by calling 256-831-7770 or you can click the link at the top of the video to get in touch with Jamie Dukas with Alpha Insurance. Also, be sure you head over to our YouTube channel, click on that subscribe button and the little bell so that when you go live to cover severe weather, you'll be able to get that push notification over on YouTube. Also, make sure you hit that like button and share us with your friends. So here's the news for the day. The headlines, less heat today and tomorrow. That's good. Rain chances will be on the increase as well. Here's the bad news, oppressively hot and humid temperatures on the way for this weekend and best chances of rain will be on Saturday and Sunday. And then we're looking at a multi-day heat wave much of next week. Uh, we're getting a little bit of a reprieve today and tomorrow. We get hot over the weekend and then it is going to be stifling next week, I'm afraid. However, there is some things happening down in the tropics that could alter that toward the end of next week. We'll tell you all about all of this coming up right here on your primetime forecast. Now, let's look at a couple of different things here. First off, let me show you where the options are for severe weather today. And we are thinking the southern, central and southern sections of our coverage area across East Alabama will have a marginal risk of a strong to severe thunderstorm today. We're talking about from about Rock Mills down to Roanoke and then through Chambers County and Lee County, and then in Georgia, uh, from about Franklin down through LaGrange and even down into Harris County, could see a strong to marginally severe storm uh, later on today. Even though we do have some storms out there this morning, at the moment, they are all behaving, nothing on the severe side. Let's look at your tropics, and there's a lot to talk about here. In the Western Caribbean, southwest Gulf of Mexico, there is a tropical wave over the western, west central Caribbean Sea. It's producing widespread but disorganized showers and thunderstorms. Um, this area continues to move off to the west at around 25 miles per hour. Environmental conditions could become more conducive for some gradual development later this week over the Western Caribbean Sea. We're giving that about a 20% chance of forming. That's that yellow area. But the one of greater concern is going to be that red hatched area in the southern Atlantic, a tropical wave located several hundred miles southwest of Cabo Verde Islands, continues to produce disorganized showers and thunderstorm activity. Environmental conditions are forecast to be unusually conducive 
for late June across the central and western tropical Atlantic, and further development of this system is anticipated. Now, that's strong verbiage coming from the Hurricane Center. They normally don't say things like that. A tropical depression or tropical storm is likely to form this weekend several hundred miles east of the Windward Islands while the system moves westward at 15 to 20 miles per hour. So we've got a 40% chance of development here in the next uh, 48 hours, and we have a 70% chance of development over the next seven days. Now, some of the long-range guidance, and again, understand, uh, you can't put much into uh, models beyond three days out there in the tropics, but long-range guidance on this system does bring it across Cuba uh, and then into the southern Gulf of Mexico. So this is one we really do need to keep an eye on over the course of the next seven to ten days. Now, if this were to get into the Gulf of Mexico, I don't think we're looking at issues uh, probably until about this time next week uh, or maybe uh, maybe a little further out than that, maybe nine to ten days before this becomes an issue for us, if it does at all. It's, I mean, there are a gazillion things that can happen in the next seven to ten days that would change all of this. Uh, and you're going to start seeing a lot of information on social media uh, the fear mongers are going to start posting out there that here comes the storm of uh, all times. And you're going to start seeing all kind of stuff out there on social media about this. Um, this is going to be potentially going to be the first significant threat for the United States this season. Uh, this season has the potential of being very active and may produce several storms. Uh, so those people who love to get click-throughs on their website and their social media are going to really start playing this up today. Uh, so keep all of that in mind. It's not time to panic. Uh, there's not time to start screaming about this. Uh, we've got several days to go to watch and see what's going to happen. But I do want you to know well in advance that there is a possible storm brewing in the southern Atlantic that could affect our weather in 7 to 10 days across the southeastern United States. It could just as easily not affect our weather as well. So keep all of that uh, in mind as you remain weather aware, and we'll keep you updated here on Dr. Don's Weather. All right, let's talk about the current conditions. We currently have 70 degrees outside. This is at the venue at Five Points Farms in Northeast Chambers County. Feels like it's 71. No wind. Humidity is 96%. The barometric pressure 29.82. Dew point is at 69. Just a trace of rain at the venue. Chambers County, one of those locations that kind of got left out of the good rain yesterday. Not the case in Randolph County. Some of you got two to three inches, especially around Widawi. Uh, some of you may have gotten even a little bit more than that. That was a relatively slow-moving storm that set up right across Randolph County. And a lot of you folks got some really beneficial rain yesterday afternoon. High temperature yesterday was 95.9, almost 96 degrees. That was before the rain moved in. Currently have fair skies. Sunrise this morning at 533. Sunsets of this evening at 755 p.m. Here's your six-day forecast from the Alpha Weather Center. Jamie Dukas, your local Alpha agent. 70% chance of showers and thunderstorms today. 86 will be your high. So, hey, look, today and tomorrow, our numbers are not in red. That's good. Enjoy this cool rain that we're going to get today. We all deserve it. 69, your overnight low tonight with a 20% chance of showers. On Friday, a 60% chance of showers and thunderstorms. 88 will be your high. Then for the weekend, Saturday, 90% chance of, uh, of being hot. <laughs> 90 will be the high. A 70% chance of rain is what I'm trying to say. And then on Sunday, we're looking at a 60% chance of rain, high temperature of 93. Monday, a 40% chance of rain, 94 as we get into your 4th of July weekend. And then on Tuesday, 94 with a 30% chance of rain. And we're going to hang out in the mid to upper 90s all week next week with uh, afternoon scattered showers and thunderstorms. Very typical weather pattern for early July here across the southeastern United States. 
Here's your Southern Union State Community College live Doppler HD radar scanning from Birmingham. And you can see that we already have some showers uh, trying to get going out there. We've got a front that's uh, very slowly pushing into North Alabama. And then that system that came through yesterday uh, kind of washed out across East Alabama. So that's why we're beginning to see showers develop already this morning across the area. We'll take you in a little bit closer and show you uh, one very small shower uh, just south or east of Ashland that's in the weakening phase. And then uh, we have some bigger showers developing down in Tallapoosa County from just north of Tallahassee back up through Lake Martin at Kalija and then Alexander City. And that stretches all the way up uh, to Goodwater and into southwest Clay County. Now, that is moving to the east, uh, northeast this morning. So that will move across Tallapoosa County. It will move into western Lee. It should cross Chambers County. And then it will get up to, to about Ashland. And it will move through Randolph County. Now, this is not severe by any means. Uh, but it could dump some heavy rainfall. And there could be a couple strokes of lightning, and there could be some very small hail uh, with this line of storms as it moves into East Alabama over the course of the next couple of hours. Folks, again, understand this is pre recorded, and it's being recorded at 5 46 a.m. on Thursday morning. So if you're watching this much past uh, 6 15 or 6 30 on your Thursday morning, then the radar part of this forecast is not going to be valid. Uh, but the rest of the forecast is. And we have some bigger storms back over in West Alabama also that could migrate into East Alabama a little later on this morning. So uh, nothing significant, nothing to be concerned about, but we certainly do have uh, showers and thunderstorms already developing out there across East Alabama, and those will eventually push into West Georgia a little later on this morning. Hey, if you can, we need your support. Uh, a couple of ways you can do that. You can support us financially. That's what we really need. Uh, we have done a lot of work here lately. Uh, I mean, from internet issues down to computer issues and upgrading and uh, to try to get our signal looking as best as we possibly can. And we think we're there. Uh, but it takes a lot of money to do this. So we ask that you support us. And there are several ways you can do that. The easiest thing to do is to go to all those links at the top of the video on Facebook, bottom of the video on YouTube, and you'll see PayPal. You'll see Cash App. You'll see Venmo. You'll see all kinds of different ways that you can just make a donation. If you would like to have something in return other than the best weather forecast in the in the nation <laughs> you can go to our weather store and you can purchase the dr don coffee cup you can get a t-shirt and you can get a baseball cap and a portion of those proceeds come back to support us here at dr don's weather as well now it, times are tough right now and i understand that so if you can't support us financially i completely get it uh then all you have to do is help us out by sharing us on social media uh, very important. And even if you do support us financially, we ask that you still do this as well. On Facebook, you want to like us, you want to share us with your friends, and ask your friends to share with their friends. You also want to go over to YouTube, subscribe to our channel, click that little bell, like us and share us on YouTube also. That increases our numbers, which also helps us here on Dr. Don's Weather. It causes us to go into a trending mode. More people get to see us. Uh, that's how the social media algorithms work. Uh, so please do that today. If you don't do anything else, that will help us out tremendously. We also have those Facebook stars. Uh, a lot of you uh, sent us some Facebook stars last night when we were broadcasting live, and we appreciate that. You can support us that way as well. Hope you have a fantastic Thursday. Remember, there will be showers and thunderstorms around today. Be careful of that lightning. It's very dangerous. Uh, the heat's going to back off today and again tomorrow, but it returns this weekend. Rain chances stay good through the weekend, and then we get into a heat wave again next week that will likely last all the way through the 4th of July weekend. And we should take a sneak peek at that forecast by this time tomorrow morning. Have a fantastic Thursday. Good Lord willing, the creek don't rise. We'll see you back in your first thing tomorrow morning on Dr. Don's Weather. This has been your primetime forecast. 
for East Alabama and West Georgia. From the Alpha Weather Center, powered by Southern Union State Community College, the venue at Five Points Farms and Boondocks Barbecue and Creamery, Dr. Don's Weather is supported by the Randolph County Commission, First Light Coffee, Roger Bell Auto Brokers, Southern Auction Solutions, Genesis Sweet Clinic, Jimmy Stevens Construction, Anchor Roofing, The Town of Wadley, Auction 431 South, The Salem Auction House, and Bama Diesel Repair. Be sure to like us on Facebook, share us with all of your friends, and subscribe to Dr. Don's Weather on YouTube. We will be back tomorrow morning with another edition of your primetime forecast on Dr. Don's Weather.